So industry 4.0 it is one of the major uh, major changes in industry era so like monitoring a complete system or if you are just uh, packing up any kind of things means that is also the automation automatically the barcode or whatever the tracking id everything gets uh, uploaded towards the cloud and from that the a whatever you have implemented it will be tracking and it will be updating the regular customer and a person will be able to monitor from a single place the, all the things can be monitored from a single place like with the help of a cctv wireless camera or at the same time how much uh, the temperature is going on for the machine or how many counts it has been completed or any other uh, environment issues are being happened how much uh, pollution gases has been released from an industry and attendance monitoring so this kind of changes only we can say in that particular industry 4.0 so these kind of sections only which has been majorly applied in all the industries then comes with telehealth so telehealth it is mostly related with the help of uh, wearables and at the same time many of the hospitals nowadays they have started the cloud access if you are just providing some of the blood test or any of the scan results means they will be uploading into the cloud and we can access it from anywhere we can take the printouts and we can show it to the respective doctor so those kind of sections only it comes under the telehealth and nowadays many medical chatbots through internet it is available so the doctor will be there in the live chat and at the same time they will also do any of the video conferencing calls uh, to just uh, note down what are all the issues physical issues so note down that particular physical issues they will be using it and from that we will be able to monitor or diagnose any kind of issues for a particular person then comes with smart supply chain management so the supply chain management it is nothing but moving from one place to another place the product moving so all that particular product notification we will be able to do with the help of the iot which comes under the e-commerce itself so once when we order the product this has been reached this hub it has been reached under this hub so on this day you will be receiving that particular product so this kind of applications only comes under iot so here itself we can see uh, some sort of GIF, whatever it has been placed in the PPT, how that particular IoT has been functioned. Warehouse. So, warehouse is one of the emerging kind of technology. Like IoT warehouse, uh, when, when we go for this uh, storage purpose, like if you go for the go downs or if you go for that particular uh, releasing parts, especially inside the Amazon or any other supermarket, they'll be having that uh, respective warehouse they'll be storing all their particular products inside the godowns and from that particular kind of notification like this item should be dispatched or this much item should be taken from the godown towards the shopping market so this kind of iot warehouse only the function will be taking place what can be done with the iot so with the help of iot we will be able to control an object or monitor an object or it is possible to do both the so controlling means a person he will be having a mobile phone or any other internet device so that will be connected towards any of the internet so from that the data will be transferred to the respective router uh, which is connected in to the home or office and that router will be passing the signal to the respective device so on this basis only the controlling process like this multiple control the motor turn on off or the geyser on off TV on off or the mixer grinder mixer grinder till now they have not applied and similarly the ACs are available and the washing machine is also available so this kind of controlling can be done easily with the help of a mobile so on that particular process let us see a demo on real-time IOT product so here I have a real-time IOT product which is known as uh, Wipro smart bulb so here i have connected uh, towards the respective wi-fi so here i have that app and everything has been configured inside this particular app so this is streamed as a bedroom bulb now i am just logging to it and i am turning it on now the light is on over here so inside this particular on part here i have multiple options like i can change the color of the white light itself so for white light i have a separate color and similarly inside this i have rgb section also so inside that rgb or the white light i have a common option like contrast contrast or brightness of the light 
then according to my moody i can change this particular light like for night time this might be the light whenever i am reading this might be working leisure soft colorful dazzling so dazzling means it automatically changes the color i can also edit the timings the flash speed i have set the color and the flash speed will be changing it yeah so now it has been taking more amount of low change if i am making this high speed so this will be that particular dazzling color now if i go for the colorful the same thing i can apply similarly for gorgeous so this is another part now here i have two options like one is the schedule and another one is for left time so from this particular left time means how much time it should it is left to turn it off so i am setting it for one minute click on confirm after one minute it gets turned off so let us wait for that so within this particular one minute now the countdown timing has started so now it will be gets turned off and this kind of iot we are completely using just for turning on turning on and off for a wireless module so this kind of sections only it will be integrated and now it has been turned off now the same thing if i just go for the schedule here i can add the schedule so when it must be turned on now at 12 38 it gets turned on so now it has been turned on towards the last scene whichever i have set now i have switched back to the normal color so this is a real time iot product which is available inside the market now the same thing if you want to just tap on towards our complete uh, functions means you will be able to create with the help of blink app so if you want to start to work with that blink app means we have to follow the steps like download blink app sign up to the app with your personal mail id create a project so here i have just used my blink app so here i have to tap on the new project it will be asking for the project name and hereby i am providing it iot1 now i am selecting the device here i am going to use raspberry pi so raspberry pi 3b here we can see and the raspberry pi it is completely controlled with the help of wi-fi what are the other options means either wi-fi gsm usb everything will be there and uh, whether the system should be in dark or light now click on create project now for my registered mail id the authentication token has been sent so click on ok and here we can see that particular token has been received now we have to design what and all the required buttons so inside this if you just tap on the settings here we will be able to integrate that particular sections and get all the datas now if you tap on that particular screen here this button style button slider vertical slider everything will be there from this we are going to select the button so click and drag now just double tap on it select the pin here inside the raspberry pi i am going to control it with the help of virtual pin i am taking it as v naught so either it should be a push button or the switch button i am making the switch button for toggling purpose now tap on it ok the button is ready and therefore the required virtual button is created next we have to configure our raspberry pi so my raspberry pi it has been already configured into the vnc viewer and that is kept opened with os all the library files everything is applied so here i have also configured all the connections like used two pins so the two pins here whatever i have integrated it is 20 and 21 gpa over 20 and 21 then power supply has been connected up over here and similarly the load has been provided for ac so this is ac load and this is the dc load now let us integrate one by one the first thing is we have to collect our authentication token from the mail and should be pasted up over here so log into the mail pop it and now it has been pasted so now the api key is ready so here i have to select that particular value as zero at blink virtual write zero and hereby i am also adding one more virtual write function as one and similarly i have to set up two pins so here i am going to add some more conditions so inside this particular conditions here we have to make the alignment so first let us check for the one application and uh, here the fan connection 
So the fan connection has been given to the pin number 20 which is known as GPIO 20. So for GPIO 20 here the coding has been done. Now hereby I am executing this app. Now it is an off state. So it is not able to take the two arguments. Now again I am turning it on. So now everyone can see that particular fan it is being currently running. So I hope. Now I am going to turn off the fan. Now it is an on condition. Now I am going to turn off the fan. So this is what a basic sample application can be provided for IoT. Now inside this particular Blink app. So here initially I have enabled all the pins uh, like in the form of BCM which will be taken in Raspberry Pi basics. Then I have added the ID or the API key of the Blink app. Enable one of the virtual pin. Then I have applied towards my function. So once inside this function, what are the value it is being received as 1, 0. Whenever it is 1, the fan is on. Whenever it is 0, the fan is off. And finally, inside the while true, this particular blink application will be run completely. So this is known as some of the basic automation which we will be able to make with the help of IoT. So this is the prototype model and this is the product model. So these are the both difference. Similarly, we can write each and every code for different different applications. So like now I will make it for one. Name it as light, light off and light on. Connected to 21st pin. I am just uh, connecting that required wire. Fixed it to the relay and switch on. Now onto this app, I am taking the second button, sorry the same button, making a slight change of virtual pin as one. Now click on OK, run the app, run the code. Now the light is also on and the light is off. So this kind of functions only, here we will be able to work with the help of IoT. And this is meant as the prototype and this is meant as the product. Finally we have executed the app as well as the code next monitoring so monitoring if you are just going for an industry if you want to monitor the pollution how much product has been uh, manufactured how many product has been sale so all the details it will be uploaded towards the cloud uh, through the router and from that if you are just a supervising manager or the ceo so from any place you will be able to view it through your mobile the entire statistics we can take an analysis like a google sheet itself if you are just sharing the sheet no need to share the entire file just share it to that respective mail id it will be automatically keeping on upgrading and that kind of analysis can also be taken for some sort of clouds like aws or microsoft azure they will be displaying this kind of uis so in this way also we will be able to monitor okay guys and uh, thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel